The destruction of middle-class wealth in parts of the Eurozone under current economic policies has parallels with the pre-World War II era that ushered in economic collapse followed by extreme politics, says Wharton finance professor Franklin Allen. Debt monetizing policies by the European Central Bank and the Fed may also reduce competitiveness against China, India, and other emerging economies. So, of course, one of the reasons that the Germans are against this kind of monetary intervention is their experience in 1923 with the hyperinflation. Now, people vary on this, but many people argue that it was the destruction of middle-class households' wealth, which was mostly held in the form of bonds or bank deposits, that really allowed the rise of Hitler in the 1930s and then the Second World War that followed. And, of course, this is an important issue, not just for Germany, but for the world, since the, the entire world suffered very much from this terrible war that we had in the middle of the 20th century. Now, hopefully it won't come to that, anything like that, in uh, modern times, but there is the risk that we will have substantial redistribution from across countries, from the north to the south. That's already effectively happening with this uh, possibility of default that we've seen. We saw Greece default already. They may start defaulting on their official sector debt, which will be a, a more straightforward uh, redistribution from the north to the south. But there are many other ways it can happen. So inflation is a possibility. I think we already see it in asset prices. If you look at stock markets, they're doing very well. I think that's the first kind of inflation that we see. Consumer price inflation that's much more complicated, and I don't think we have a very good understanding of how these quantitative operations actually might lead to consumer price inflation. What we've seen in Japan is that they did this kind of quantitative easing. It never led to consumer price inflation. In fact, they have uh, deflation. What we saw in Japan was that this kind of low interest rate, this kind of attempt at monetary stimulus, led to a gradual loss of competitiveness of the industry in the country. And they've gone from being arguably the most competitive country in the world in terms of their firms to ones where they're no longer at that level. They're struggling to compete with Korean firms and they don't have the kind of dominance that they used to have. And I think that's the real worry for our economies in Europe and the US from these kinds of monetary measures, that we lose our competitiveness, particularly vis-a-vis -vis China and India and the new upcoming emerging economies.